my stars, and welcome back to another finger painting video. Today we're going to be painting a blue morpho butterfly. These are the colors that you'll be needing. White, blue, black, a black marker, a pencil, some paper, and your fingers. Don't forget to subscribe on YouTube and share your paintings with me on Instagram. Use the hashtag fingerpaintingstar for your chance to shine as our artist of the week. Now let's begin. Starting off, we're going to use our black marker to create the antenna. We're gonna make a big old V and throw a little dot at the top because that is the butterfly's feelers. I chose the blue morpho butterfly because there are over 20,000 different types of butterflies and I thought, you know what? This is one I've always liked. I've always thought it was so beautiful and they're butterflies, blue butterflies that are found in the rainforests of Central and South America. All right, so using our black, we are going to make the head, the thorax, so one dot, a slightly bigger dot, and the body of the butterfly. You have the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. Those are the scientific names for it. So a little dot, a slightly bigger dot, and then we're gonna do a really long stroke with our finger, like so. So that is the main part of our butterfly, and now we're going to do the outside of the butterfly. Did you know that people have been making butterfly art for more than 3,500 years? The ancient Egyptians and the ancient Aztecs and the ancient Mayans all made their own butterfly art. So taking the black, we're gonna kind of create a big old three because you have the four wings, and you have the hind wings. So big old three, and I'm just outlining it in black because the blue morpho butterfly, of which there's over like 20 different kinds, has these black outlines that are filled in with blue. So we're gonna create those black outlines and then this is gonna be a backwards three. Can we do it? Can we do the backwards three? It's okay if your butterfly is not perfectly symmetrical. I know that butterflies are actually in real life supposed to be symmetrical, but you know what? Life happens. Life happens sometimes, things happen, and things aren't always symmetrical. Symmetrical means the same on one side and the other. It's like a mirror image. Okay, so we've got our black backgrounds, like so. And now we're going to go in with our blue. I'm actually going to start by making two different colors of blue and then mixing them together. So I'm gonna take this blue and I'm gonna mix a little bit of our white in with that blue, just like so. Put the colors right next to each other using a clean finger and mix them up. And I'm gonna put a couple of spots in the middle. I find that sometimes when I'm coloring things in, it's easier to make just like little dots and then fill it in. Put the color in and then blend it all together. And so now I'm gonna go in with the darker blue and we're just gonna kind of blend those together. It does not have to be perfect. If we get a little bit of black in, that's fine. We just wanna make sure that we don't blend the black too much into the center. If you start getting a little bit too much black on your finger, like I have here, wipe it off and start again. Get a clean finger and keep going back in. It's okay to have these streaks too. We don't want it to be perfectly all together because that's gonna give it some extra oomph. See, I'm gonna throw a little bit more of that light blue in. Just have a lot of fun and blend those colors in, making sure to keep a lot of that blue really bright, but also blending it in a little bit with the black. Okay, what else do we know about the blue morpho butterfly? What else can I tell you? So let's see, what, can you, what do we know about butterflies? Butterflies have three stages of life. No, they have four stages of life. They start off as eggs. Do you know what happens to them next? What do butterflies become after their eggs? Caterpillars. Yes, we have caterpillars, which is called the larva stage. We got the caterpillars and then caterpillars, what happens? How do we go from the caterpillar to the butterfly? Caterpillar eats a lot of things, and then it turns into a chrysalis, or the pupa stage. 
and then they eventually become butterflies after hibernating in the chrysalis stage for a while. Okay, so a little bit of black here and there, but we, it's still very bright blue. We're gonna do the same thing to the other side. See, this is so easy, but it's gonna look so pretty when it's all done. I love blue morpho butterflies. They're just, ah, they're so cool. Okay, so I'm gonna do the other side, same thing, just color it in, get a little bit of that black in, a little bit of that light blue, just making sure that we keep the blue very, very blue. Okay, what else do we know? So they live in the, the rainforest of Latin and South America, like the Amazon rainforest is a very popular place to find blue morpho butterflies. I've actually traveled to South America and I saw them myself in person. It was so cool. So, so cool. They're beautiful. What else? Let's see. Um, blue morphos actually have a really funny, funny body in that their wings are bright, bright blue on one side, but then when they fold them up, it looks like the forest floor. And that's because they live on the forest floor most of the year, most of their life. Um, when they're butterflies. Butterflies, blue morpho butterflies only live for 115 days. But of those 115 days, most of the time is spent on the floor of the rainforest where they live. And then when they fly, they open up their wings and they create these most beautiful colors just flying through the air. Okay, so we've got some beautiful colors here. And now I'm gonna take the pencil and I'm just going to create some little, little extra things. So blue morphos, they tend to have little white dots on the outside of their wings. So using my pencil, I'm gonna actually create those white dots, like so, just on the black. And I'm gonna actually do a little line right here. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Just put a bunch of little dots. This little bit just is really gonna do a whole lot to make your butterfly look extra special. Do a little line. Ooh. And little dots right here. What else? Hmm. Another fun fact about the butterflies, did you know that butterflies have to be 86 degrees in order to fly? That's Fahrenheit for those of you who are in North America. All right, let's throw a little bit of highlight onto this body. So a little bit of white on the head. Let's separate these parts. A little bit of thorax and a little bit of the abdomen, like so. And I'm gonna take the black. I'm just gonna throw a couple little lines in you don't have to do this but this is just something i'm doing that's a little bit extra that's just going to make it look a little bit fancier throw in a couple of lines like veins or trees there's so many different things in nature different patterns that just reoccur but if you start looking for them, you'll see them everywhere. Like how we circulate things, blood, trees, rivers, they all have these similar patterns. Lightning bolts also have the same patterns. Okay, so I'm gonna actually just carry this black in just a little bit so that the fore wings and the hind wings are separated just a little bit. And on that note, you guys, I think we have a butterfly. I think we have a butterfly. Ta-da, there you have it. There is our blue morpho butterfly. What do you guys think? How did your butterfly turn out? Be sure to hashtag me on Instagram at fingerpaintingstar so that I can see your blue morpho butterfly. I cannot wait to look at your art. Thank you guys for joining me. It was so much fun. Sending you guys lots of love. Until next time. Bye!